Week two of the grass season has barely begun and many big names have fallen out of the tournaments, literally. Hey, my name is Christian Bassnight and welcome to Christian's Court where I cover tennis from all angles. A few of the top stars have returned to the grass this week, most notably the men's world number one and two, Yannick Sinner and Carlos Alcaraz. And Halle, Sinner won his first match as the new world number one, recovering from a set down to defeat Talon Greek Sports 6-7-6-3-6-2, hitting this insane passing shot in the process. Most of the top seeds there in Germany, including Alexander Zverev, Dedo Medvedev, and 2022 and 2023 champions Hubert Hercoc and Sasha Bublik progressed to the round of 16. Fourth seed Andre Rublev bowed out to Marcos Guidon in the opening round of straight sets, while Felix Auger Aliassime was forced to retire mid match against Dominic Kupfer after slipping on the grass. In Queens, Francis Tiafo and Dan Evans also suffered some nasty falls and were forced to call it quits early. Yesterday, in the second game of the deciding set and in his opener against Rinki Hijikata, Tiafo slipped mid point and went down grabbing at his hip. After receiving treatment from the trainer, Francis tried to continue playing, but he just could not go on. He couldn't go after his serve, and he retired two points later. The award number 28 told his fans on Instagram that he suffered a grade 1 medial collateral ligament sprain, but still hopes to be right for Wimbledon, which starts in a couple of weeks. I really feel for Big Foe because he's been struggling a lot results-wise this season, and now for this to happen just weeks before a slam, sheesh. Today, in the very first game of the decider against Brandon Nakashima, Dan Evans took a nasty tumble after being wrong footed. The way Evans yelled in pain, I knew it was a wrap for him. The Brit did later pull the plug and told the press afterwards that he feared that he damaged his MCL like Francis did. His Wimbledon and Olympic hopes are in doubt, which could affect Andy Murray because he and Evans were set to play doubles together in Paris. Grass courts are more slippery, especially at the start of the tournaments, as the back baseline isn't as worn out, which makes players more susceptible to falls and injuries. Holger Rune spoke out about the slippery grass as he fell multiple times in his Queen's first round match. I feel like maybe the tournament should do something about the dangers of the grass, especially in the early stages of the tournament. Maybe wear out the grass before the tournament starts, but I don't know how you do that. It tends to definitely only be an issue as the tournament starts because after the first couple of rounds, the grass gets more worn out and it becomes more firm and people fall a lot less. Anyway, speaking of queens, the top seeds have been dropping like flies, particularly in the bottom half. Second seed and last year's finalist Alex D. Menor lost to Lorenzo Musetti 1-6-6-4-6-2. Young Guns Holger Rune and Ben Shelton lost to Jordan Thompson and Giovanni Impeci Petticard, respectively. Both Holger and Ben have been struggling with form all season, so their losses were not really at all surprising. Meanwhile, Jordan and Giovanni have been making good strides all 2024. Thompson plays five-time champion Andy Murray next, who scored a nice three-set win over Alexi Popperin. Fourth seed Taylor Fritz as the only remaining seed in that bottom half in Queens, so that's a great opportunity for him to go deep. Fritz, though, now faces ace king Milos Raonic, who served a record 47 aces during his first round win over Cam Nori. Meanwhile, Carlos Alcaraz got his title defense out to a great start, beating Francisco Serondolo 6-1-7-5. Alcaraz recovered from 2-5 down in that second set and saved three set points before closing things out in 83 minutes. That sets up a mouth watering round of 16 affair between he and last week's Stuttgart champion Jack Draper. Tommy Paul and Grigor Dimitrov, who are both in that top half with Arcaraz, also opened with straight set wins. On the women's side, 8 out of the top 10 players are competing in the Berlin 500 tournament, including Shinwen Jang, who beat Naomi Osaka 6 4 3 6 6 3, hitting 23 aces in the process. And this marks the second time this year, I believe, second time in like two months that Shinwen has beaten. Naomi as they played in the round of 16 in Italy, which Shinwin won, I believe, by a score of 6-2, 6-4. Definitely, I think that Shinwin has a chip on her shoulder whenever she does play Naomi because if you don't remember, Wim Fizet, Shinwin's former coach, left Shinwin to go coach Naomi when she was preparing for her comeback. Anyways, this loss, though, encapsulates 
the two main problems with Naomi in this latest comeback. First, she just cannot win tight matches. She's now one in five and three setters this season. And then second, the returning still just is not where it needs to be because getting aced 23 times by Shinwin is ridiculous. I'm sorry. Vika Azarenka eliminated seventh seed Maria Sakari 6-4-6-2. And top seed Coco Golf will open against Ekaterina Alexandrova, who beat her last year in Berlin 6-4-6 love. Second seed Arena Sabalenka starts against Dara Kasekina, who she holds a dominant 6-2 head-to-head against, and she's won her last three matches against the Russian, all in decisive straight sets. Daria is clearly not looking forward to this matchup. Next uh, opponent will be Sabalenka. Shit. <laughs> That's all I need to know. Thank you, Daria Kasekina. Thank you very much. Elena Rabakina begins against Veronica Kudomartova, who beat compatriot and Libema Open champion Ludmila Samsonova in the opening round. Jesse Pegula, meanwhile, starts against last year's runner-up, Donna Vekic. And lastly, in the Birmingham 250, defending champion Yelena Ostapenko was bounced in round one by Elisabetta Kocharetto. That gives Sloane Stevens a great opportunity to go deep there in that tournament as the American now plays the un unseated Italian. Third seed, Serena Cristea, also bounced, falling to Linju, while Bobor Krichikova, Lila Fernandez, and Anastasia Potapova avoided the upsets. Fifth seed, Elisa Mertens, also progressed, clobbering Caroline Wozniacki 6-4-6-1. That's it for this quick and brief grass update, and let me know in the comments what y'all think about week two of the grass court action thus far, and whether you, do, whether you believe that the tournament should maybe do something about the slippery grass and preventing player injuries. Also, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so y'all are notified whenever I post more updates throughout the grass swing. Thank y'all so much for watching. Once again, I'm Christian, and I'll see y'all next time here on Christian's Court.